the whole well, thing? It wouldn't be a Saturday in Belfast if there weren't protesters somewhere. Uh, so I don't take it uh, all that seriously. The principal impact of those who tried to ban me from here was to multiply the ticket sales. So as a sales strategy, I suppose uh, one should hope for that kind of opposition every time. A thousand people paid £12 to come to this very historic uh, venue to hear my take on things near and far. And uh, I hope that they find it an entertaining and enlightening experience. I come in peace. I have no quarrel with anyone in Belfast. And I hope that uh, people will listen to what I have to say with an open mind. They say you're, you're sympathetic to uh, what, what's been described as terrorist movements uh, here and around the world. Is that mm. true? Well, one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter, of course. Uh, I was a soldier in Nelson Mandela's army, and he spent 27 years in the dungeons of apartheid, called a terrorist. But everyone now knows that wasn't true. Uh, so we have to analyze conflicts and analyze ways of resolving them. And in the case of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, I have some novel ideas as to how we might solve that, and I'll be canvassing those this evening. What's your thoughts, just briefly, on uh, the situation in Iraq and Syria and the Islamic State? It's a catastrophe. I mean, you really couldn't make this up. Uh, we warned Mr. Blair and Mr. Bush that if they invaded and occupied an Arab-Muslim country, they would unleash dark forces. Uh, that would uh, eventually overwhelm the state. And that's precisely what's happening. We uh, didn't know quite what form it would take, quite how dark it would be, uh, but it's pretty dark and it's pretty overwhelming. And the poor Iraqi people who never asked to be invaded and occupied in the first place are now having to deal with this excrescence of hideous, savage terrorism, entirely sectarian based. People are being murdered even when they're of the same religion as the people who are murdering them, but they may just have a tiny nuance of difference in interpretation. Finally, your thoughts on the killing of Mr. Foley? A shocking, savage, evil act. Uh, and uh, I could not bring myself to watch it. Tony Blair, meanwhile, was sailing on a yacht off the coast of Sicily, notwithstanding the stipend he receives as the peace envoy in the Middle East. As I say, you really couldn't make this up. Thank you.